Smith will throw the ball in the air, working with Tony Henderson and Jerry Heater. And we're underway. Miami's won two in a row. See how they guard Wong on that. They occasionally struggle to score. Hunter Tyson makes a three. Junior from Monroe, North Carolina. And now McGusty. They've really shared the point guard role the last six games since Harlan Beverly went out for the year with a back injury. And it's McGusty, the transfer from Oklahoma. Nice play by McGusty there, going up against a guy, Clyde Trapp, a senior who knows his way around the ACC tournament as he finds Tyson who knocks down his second three to start the game. With a nasty facial fracture, took a gruesome knee to the face in their big win against Alabama. It's McGusty again. There's the senior. There's the first shot from Mir Sims. And they're three for three. You mentioned Clemson's offensive struggles this year, last in points per game, but this is a team that got off to a great start offensively in the first 10 games until they went through that COVID pause. For his defensive effort on Justin Champagny yesterday, guarding a different challenge. Champagny struggled from beyond the arc, where Tyson's already got it started early, as does Amir Sims, knocking down the three at the shot clock buzzer. This game losing streak, and they had lost 10 out of 11, but the only win in that stretch against Duke at the Watsko Center in Coral Gables. Anthony Walker, the score for Miami, and it's a four-point Clemson lead. The challenge we talk about for Miami, however, but that's really where Jim Larinaga and his team are right now, having to play a guy that was a former walk-on in the rotation. It's into a nice start here this afternoon. They're up 17 to 8 as we approach eight minutes gone by. And I've got to say, well done. Not bad for a young man whose mother, Letitia Jones, would not allow him to come to my workout in the sixth grade because he didn't do his homework. I'm glad she was able to share the moment. Of course, moving Amir from New Jersey to Palmyra, Virginia, about 15 minutes right outside of Charlottesville when he was in about third or fourth grade. And she's been about the academics. That's been very important to her. But they handled the basketball especially well yesterday and their defense, which, of course, Coach Larinaga has always been about the D, but no defense to be able to defend Alamir Dawes when he gets to the rim with that type of finish. And Alamir Dawes with the nice move, recognizing the shot blocker and Gak coming over to try to defend it. Still not enough, able to finish on the opposite side. The winner advances to the quarterfinals tomorrow to take on the fourth seed, Georgia Tech. Tough shot and good by Cameron McGusty, who's carrying the load here for Miami. And a steal by Harrington. Well, there it is. He has another first half three. Both their parents attended Harvard. That's quite a family. Count the bucket for Isaiah Wong and a chance for a three-point play. Quite the move. Isaiah Wong with the nice right-to-left crossover, recognizing the defender coming over, trying to take the charge. Back-to-back -back games for the first time since they began the year 3-0. and And then all those injuries hit. Brooks the turnaround, and Miami goes up. If there's no steak. <laughs> a salmon steak. I, I think we'll stick with the filling tradition. I agree. Honor, Honor knocks it home. Data. We're going to give him points for creativity. Tyson had it blocked underneath. I believe it was Olani who blocked it. With Moses Wright of Georgia Tech, the player of the year in the conference, and Matthew Hurt of Duke for the most 20 point games among ACC players. There's the third three of the game for Hunter Tyson. Was the next guy wide open for three. A gusty charge in the lane. That created an opening for Alani, and he knocked down a three. And in between being a great player and all those head coaching stops. A great assistant for Terry Holland at the University of Virginia. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I bet cooking was not an option for you when you were at the University of Virginia. Um, it, the course load. It was not an option for anyone that would like to eat it. I will say that. As the injuries have mounted, and they've needed more from him. And he's had 10 games of 12 points or more out of the last 14. Another three for Amir Sims. Or the most improved player award, which went to Matthew Hurt. A deserving winner, certainly, but I don't think anybody would have argued if Wong won it. Gusty turned to his coach and said, I was fouled. Coach L started on the officials. There's a three for Alex Hemingway. 
playing with a mask. He broke his nose. Alani guarded by Alex Hemingway. Alani, nice cut to the bucket to get the Canes within two. This match on the post, Sims has to take advantage of that. Snatched his own rebound out to honor for three. Nine out of 12 as a team are from behind the line. Turned out even better with Sims getting the offensive rebound, but it looks as though Miami's going to try switching. Long for three. Honor. Threw it away for the moment. McGusty had a hand on it. Hemingway got it back. And then Walker plucked it. And he has tied the game for Miami. Great spin move by Sims as he went around to Sear Brooks to score. Long with Hemingway right up on him. He went right into Sims and scored. Give Miami credit for that defensive stand coming out of the timeout. Oh. Anthony Walker, a beautiful move to the bucket. See them going into attack mode time and time again when they get the basketball. Nice offense there. Sims found Clyde Trapp. Of course, a quality team, the Chase ACC champion in Florida State, unable to get that. But that's a Clemson team that could have possibly been in the tournament a year ago. Brooks, nice little turnaround move, couldn't score. Here's Amir Sims leading a break. And the finish by Elamir Dawes. <laughs> there are some fans here today, but uh, not many. We mentioned earlier they're allowed to have about 2,500 to 3,000. Nice little alley-oop to Deng Gag. He was in a tough spot under the hoop. Magusti, nicely done from the ACC logo in the lane. Long, well guarded by Trent. So he found the wing, and it's Walker. Really a very nice young man, too. We've done a lot of Clemson football the last few years. Hunter Tyson, strong move to the bucket. Shared by several players. Tyson stood in to three hits. There's Gack, another dunk. Do they have enough in the tank? Uh, right now they do. That's a three for Anthony Walker. As the ball goes in the other direction, and now Wong's alone under the basket because he fell down and was slow to get up. And his job of taking advantage of the opportunity he's gotten this year, he really has been a silver lining for the Kings. Where Miami pulling away now as McGusty scores. Run is now 16 to two for the hot shooting Kings, not showing any signs of fatigue in their legs. And boy, did Clemson need that one. Another three. Sure, either way, you know, I get it, but I can tell you. Uh, in everything that he's done his whole life, when he's been given the chance, he's exceeded expectations. And Brad Brownell said that's been true for him at Clemson as well. And they're the much deeper team. Wong, he could play all day. He's not going to get tired. And Isaiah Wong does not look like he's slowing down at all. Sims inside. They come here with a good team and high hopes. But they're down by four. They're down by two as Sims scores with three and a half to go. Wong fades away from Sims. Magusti. Tough shot. Gets the bounce as he scores over Clyde Trapp. For Miami, these guys have made difficult opportunities all day long boy they really needed that didn't get it from dawes they can take it down to 50 seconds left in regulation before they need to shoot tyson defending long the fade away long shot popped out saved by brooks but it winds up with sims trap with time running down heaves a three and makes it from about five feet beyond the arc clyde trap a clutch shot. If Brooks touches the ball and they get in a situation they want to foul, he'd be the man to foul. He's 63% worse on the floor. Terrible turnover. And then a foul called. Clemson, first free throw attempt by either team in this half. And a chance to make it a one-point game for Elamir Daw. Oh, 
It's a one-point game. Since third foul, number six, so the next one will send them to the line. It's Wong, their best free throw shooter. He can't call a timeout, and he turns it over. They didn't have any timeouts left. Then Sims threw it ahead. He almost turned it over. And will advance to the quarterfinals tomorrow to meet Georgia Tech. Honor pulls up, too strong, Tyson a tip, and long the rebound, looked like he got clubbed. Regular season finale on senior day after six straight losses. Long for Miami, do you foul? No. Take your chances, you only have 2.9. Then they uh, get the ball up near midcourt, you have to think about it. Trap, long pass off the hands of Sims. And Miami has done it again.